want to lose my other rod. Got a backup. Got the net, got the two rods. Hey, just like we practice, man. Take it the second round. Back out of Mission Bay. Try to go get off some fish. It's almost six o'clock, so breaking one of my own cardinal rules. Usually I'm private. I'm out here by at my spot at six. I don't know why I was up early too. And for some reason, I don't know if I thought I got here earlier. I don't know what happened. Like I was just kicking into the house like 15 minutes. Like oh, I got time, but I got here by the time I loaded up. I'm like man, I should be on the water by now. So my mistake. Hopefully don't factor in too much, man. I already see bait fish blowing up like crazy all over the surface here. So hopefully it'll be a good day. We're getting into that summer bite. Oh yeah, it's just the bait fish are already boiling. So hopefully those bodies are boiling too. So yeah, it should be good. You know, I'm just trying to make the playoffs at this point. Had the win last week. Not really so concerned with the win at this point. I just want to get the playoffs, you know. Nobody wants to be that guy that wins all the time and then he goes and loses in the playoffs. So I just want to be fishing good, get into the playoffs, and then carry some of that momentum in, you know. That's the ultimate goal. Man, my legs are burning so bad. I trained. I trained so hard Friday. Did so many rounds. These Charlie horses and quads, but. Ooh, brutal. I'm definitely feeling it today. I'm like barely paddling it. It's like burn so bad. <laughs> the downsides of Fridays, man. Jiu Jitsu. Sort of an alliance. It's like Friday. We call it Fridays for fighting. So we just spar like crazy on Fridays. Whew. Too many rounds. My legs are feeling it. We're just getting started. Gotta power through. If you know how to fish on the calico of all things here at the docks. Tiny ass little fish. I thought I was stuck on like seaweed or just snagged the bottom. Body. Nice. Not an absolute hog, but decent size. coming in man but it is a freaking abysmally slow this is only my second body so at this point i quit using my 20 and 30 gram slow pitch jigs i realized there was a problem with my akuma komodo one of the problems was it was super dirty so it wasn't free spooling as well and the bite was really slow so i opted to go with my ultralight setup i went with the pen battle 3 1000 and a super light rod and I just exclusively fished um, 7, 10, and 15 gram lures. So for the rest of the video, that's what I was really crushing them on. Man, it is sucking so far. So, bite might be picking up. I saw Leonard earlier, he was doing pretty slow too. Yeah, sometimes it's like that, you know. And the bite just goes crazy. So hopefully that's happening now or Random fish on a very, very slow day. Two fish in three hours. I had a calico, but that doesn't really count. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. Ultralight 
<laughs> this setup is kind of crazy. Yeah, that's definitely illegal though. This is only fish number three though. Or do I lose the fish? No, we keep it all, baby. We keep it all. Let's go, another legal. Pretty sure. Let me measure it first. And the hot hand, I downsized big time. Again, I don't know if the bite's picking up. Hope I'm just getting lucky with this color. But this is the same color I want it with last week really with this wind come on man big old pig who drew blood oh my gosh Make me slit your throat. You're a legal fish, I'll do it. And measuring the spotties. Real quick, let me get one. Okay, now you can jump off if you want. You tried. Take my word for it. Taking my advice. More wind push me into the boat. You know what, you're going for a high ride. This is another 15. Man, I'm catching all these hogs from this. <laughs> 1,000 size reel. Fun fight though. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. 
probably another legal. Yes, it is. Just barely. You see, this is the model's body. Well behaved, not jumping around. And he gets rewarded. Set back gently. Didn't get crushed by the claw. Abysmal as the morning was. In this weird spot right now where the tides are almost peak high, but the bite's picking up. And I've almost got my full bag of legals. And I only have, I think, six fish. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. So not a lot, but I mean, I'll take quality all day. The hell with catching 43 fish. Just give me a handful of monsters. Damn, this monofilament's not built for guys. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to the floor. So I'm slow pitching. Everything's been on the mostly on the spinning rod here. And I'll have to do a video on it. Maybe this will be my video. I love this with that small spinning rod. The key is to have a really small one, a really light line so it comes off the bail really quickly so you still get that flutter action. Normally I use this one for like my 10, 710, 15 gram. I got a 15 gram on here right now, which is kind of the limit. up a little more north. See if that bite's still popping. We get different over here. This is where I've been fishing most of the day. But all my bikes I'm going back. size difference. That's, that's absolute insanity. This guy just, he 
ate it and laid there with it. Uh, don't know if it's an upgrade, but decent fish. So one thing I noticed earlier, I was fishing and the tide was coming in. It was low tide coming in. All my fish were on the south side, so the tide was coming in. And I was catching everything facing that way. Now all my fish are coming from the north side. Now the tide is going out. So it's high tide and it's going to low tide. And now I'm catching everything on the north end. So you can see how that how those spotties they face into the current and wait for food to come by. Science. I couldn't catch anything on this end. Now I can't catch anything on the other end. And it's in perfect unison with the tide, that tide swing. So keep that in mind. Well, we're gonna be headed in. It's like 4.30. You know, normally I'd be out here like all day. Got here at six. Super slow day. Um, but I got really good fish. I think I got two 15s, a 16, and then two other legals, like 14 and a quarter, maybe a 14 and a half. So fish I got are actually phenomenal. Uh, which is good. I'd rather have that than a whole bunch of little. You know, you'd have a 20 fish day and everything you're catching is 12 inches. So that's a really good size. We're going to cut it short, go to the CCA uh, fundraiser dinner, the Ohana, to get to the Connor. Get to go meet up with some of the other and the MFC crew, hang out with those guys, you know, it's been, you only see these guys on the kayak, the whole COVID thing, you know, we started fishing a lot together last year, and this cool little club that's formed out of it, and almost nobody knows who anybody is, but we know who each other are, but that'd be face-to-face -face contact, and this has been few and far between, but I think certain people within the group know each other better and stuff like that, so pretty cool. Get to actually talk to some of these guys in person. It should be fun. I know there's some guys still out there fishing. Um, the tournament I talked to them, so they're, they're never struggling to <laughs> six fish, four fish. I mean, I, I'm not the only one that's. I, I mean, people that I talked to had four fish, six fish. I, mean, I probably had about ten fish or so. Um, now that I think about it, because I was tossing some back, so that, that's not terrible. Uh, not a great day by any means, but it actually was a great day. It, the size, it, it was a great day. I, I got to get off of the idea that I didn't catch a whole lot, so it was bad. It was the quality of my fish were perfect. Not perfect. I always wanted some bigger ones, but you guys know what I mean. Pretty good. So we'll see. Um, with as slow as it is, I mean, I think I'll place pretty well. I mean, I probably get a top three, I would think those kind of numbers but I know I saw some posts from what I understand it's been slow and we got people gonna go tomorrow too and I don't know if it'll pick up but I seen a picture in discord where somebody posted like a 16 and a quarter 16 and a half so if a lot of people caught monsters like that then maybe I didn't do so well but for some of the guys I talked to they didn't catch they weren't catching a lot and there wasn't much size to them too so hopefully it stays that way just kidding guys, I hope you do well. Best of luck to everybody. At this point, I'm just trying to make the playoffs. Like I said, if I get another first place, that's cool, but that's not the goal. I just need to keep my average high enough so I can get into that top six and then, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, peace.